<laughs> it's Spurgeon. Oh boy, I tell you, the joy I feel when I get done isn't one of satisfaction that it's already over, but that I feel more alive sharing and caring and discussing Jesus than I do when I just oh go about my day doing everything else that comes my way. And for me, being on the internet in a ministry that is designed and coordinated to respond to and promote um, Jesus in these latter days, it can be challenging at times to maintain, you know, the spiritual equilibrium, you know, that you don't go nyeh, or nyeh, <laughs> and lose it completely. But in saying all that, there's still a great joy that I feel in discussing or realizing and seeing God working in you as he works in me as he brings us to a realization of the Son of God living inside us, that we are being changed from glory to glory into the incorruptible image of his Son, and that the Father loves us, and that irregardless of the challenges of technology, the wearying down of our physical bodies, or the society that's falling apart around us, we can still rejoice in the Lord and be glad. It's almost over. In a little while we'll be with the Father. In a little while we'll be with the Son. In a little while we'll be with Jesus. In a little while. In Spurgeon, Thou art fairer than the children of men. The entire person of Jesus is but one gem and his life is all along but one impression of the seal. He is altogether complete, not only in his several parts, but as the gracious, all-glorious whole. His character is not a mass of fair colors mixed confusedly, nor a heap of precious stones laid carelessly one upon the other. He is a picture of beauty and a breastplate of glory. In him all things of good repute are in proper places and assist in adorning each other. Not one feature in his glorious person attracts attention at the expense of others, but he is perfectly and altogether lovely. O oh Jesus, thy power, thy grace, thy justice, thy tenderness, thy mercy, thy majesty, and thine immutability make up such a man, or rather such a God-man, as neither heaven nor earth hath seen elsewhere. Thy infancy, thy eternity, thy sufferings, thy triumphs, thy death and thine immortality are all woven in one gorgeous tapestry without seam or rent. Thou art music without discord. Thou art many and yet not divided. Thou art all things and yet not diverse. As all the colors blend into one resplendent rainbow, so all the glories of heaven and earth meet in you and unite so wonderfully that there is none like thee in all things. Nay, if all the virtues of the most excellent were bound in one bundle, they could not rival you, thou mirror of all perfection. Thou hast been anointed with the holy oil of myrrh and cassia, which thy God hath reserved for thee alone. And as for thy fragrance, it is as holy perfume, the like of which none other can ever imagine. Even when the art of the apothecary, each spice is fragrant, but the compound is divine. <laughs> In flowery speech, in way we speak, in the way that we are able to articulate, we bring to God the bountiful bounty of our praise that effortlessly comes from our lips as we offer up the sacrifice of play, praise that we sing song like through limerick and rhyme to bring to God every time the words that would bring such wonderful response in everyone that listens and hears and sees. <laughs> I think Spurgeon was a little bit having a good time in the Lord. <laughs> oh boy, or he had some wine, wine. No, but in reality, the joy of knowing that God is complete and that he will make us like him reminds us that 
we don't need to fear if we have disabilities or inabilities, if we have failings or we have one strength and another weakness or one weakness and another strength or somehow we're just all weakness. But that because he is complete, so shall we be. So when you look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, you know what you're going to be like. You know who you're going to be like. And you know that one day you'll awake in his likeness. Doesn't that sound wonderful? I hope so. I hope it does to you as much as it does to me. Because the day will come when we'll be walking with the sun. Today, we're walking in the sun.